at the end of January 2024, Insider Gaming got this exclusive article from Ubisoft which reads, inside Ubisoft from low morale to internal tensions. Now this just breaks down what's been going on over at Ubisoft Studios and what the atmosphere was like, what the day to day was like over at Ubisoft. But what I want to focus on from this article is that we got some new information in regards to Ghost Recon project over the next mainline entry into the Ghost Recon franchise. So in regard to the next mainline Ghost Recon game, the article reads in 2025 and 2026, expect a new mainline entry to Ghost Recon in brackets Project Over. Set during the fictional Nyman War, two new Far Cry titles including a multiplayer game Project Maverick and a new mainline entry to Far Cry Project Blackbird, two new Assassin's Creed game Hexe and Invictus and the already announced Splinter Cell Remake. Beyond that expect several new Assassin's Creed games including an Assassin's Creed Black Flag Remake currently known as Project Obsidian. Should Ubisoft find success with these upcoming games, the feeling both within and around the company is likely to change. But first, a strong change in direction needs to happen. The cracks are beginning to show and if things were to continue the way they have recently from leaving employees in turmoil to having competent managers run projects, the inevitable is restructuring could see many affected. Ubisoft was offered the opportunity to comment before the publication of this article but did not comment in time of the publication. So it seems that this upcoming lineup of games from Splinter Cell Remake to Black Flag Remake to the next Assassin's Creed games and Project Over the next Ghost Recon game. If these games are successful then Ubisoft can continue to remain the way it is right now and they have gone through sort of a change over the last year and a half two years as they cancelled the majority of their Battle Royale plans which saw 12 plus Battle Royale games in development for nearly all of their franchises so they cancelled a lot of them and they kind of changed their direction with the Assassin's Creed franchise whereas now they're trying to make an Assassin's Creed game for every type of genre and I believe if their current formula of Assassin's Creed is going to work and it does show to be very successful then it's likely we'll get some sort of infinity style hub for both Ghost Recon and Far Cry. The insider rumors also claim that Far Cry is the next franchise for Ubisoft to get that Assassin's Creed treatment. Hence the reason why there is also a multiplayer Far Cry game in development. As for the Ghost Recon franchise, reports from Tom Henderson I believe stated that the game would likely be ready in 2025. However, this report also states 2025 but also adds 2026. Also Tom Henderson said that Ubisoft has a lot of good things in the works. I've heard great things about AC Red, Far Cry 7, Project O for Ghost Recon etc. But games like Skull and Bones and Beyond Good and Evil 2 are like big rocks in the middle of the road and they need to get rid of them ASAP in my opinion, too many resources are being spent. So now that Skull and Bones is nearly out and the reception is still very bad for that game even in the early access to what YouTubers and first reactions of the games were, it's not looking good for Skull and Bones but now that that's hopefully out the way, all attention can be spent on AC Red, Far Cry 7, Project Over and the other games in development. So hopefully this pivot towards their single player titles and their big franchises is a step in the right direction for Ubisoft and by cancelling the battle royal games they can now focus on these single player experiences and hopefully because all these games are cancelled and skull and bones is over hopefully it is 2025 the year we get the next ghost recon mainline title however there are a lot of ubisoft games in the works and also because of the release of grand theft auto 6 next year ubisoft may not want ghost recon to be lost in the shuffle as it will likely be another mainline open world title for the ghost recon franchise so they may want to again release it over away from the release date of Grand Theft Auto 6 but we have to keep in mind that nearly all developers and publishers will also be doing this to try stay away from that GTA 6 which will then entail for more competition during these GTA 6 less months which is bad news for everyone almost so it is very very possible that we could be getting this in 2026 instead. Also with the Ubisoft releases this year not including Skull and Bones I'm mainly talking about Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Red. If 
if those games are hugely successful and are of a high quality then we can expect good things for the next Ghost Recon game as Tom Henderson did say he heard good things about Assassin's Creed Red and Far Cry 7 so hopefully Ubisoft is turning a new leaf. I'm very excited to hear more about this next Ghost Recon game I hope we get some more insider update on it and if it is indeed coming in 2025 we may even get a teaser trailer or an announcement of the game officially by Ubisoft this year during a Ubisoft forward press conference or at one of the major gaming shows that are going to take place this year. But guys we've talked about Assassin's Creed Red on the channel with the gameplay updates and story updates and we talk about all the latest news in regards to Ghost Recon and other Ubisoft games and the AAA games and open world single player titles so if you like all of that stuff go ahead and subscribe and please like the video so it reaches more people. Guys thanks so much for watching peace out god bless hope to see you in my next videos take care guys. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build